Very few are lucky enough to leave their mark on international sport. Even fewer to make history and bend to series or competition to their will. In the 32-year history of World SBK, there have not been many squads as prolific or outstanding as the Kawasaki Racing Team. The combination of loyal, energetic, and skilled staff, ruthlessly competitive machinery from Akashi in Japan, and the talent and determination of Jonathan Ray have created a BMF. It's strange because I don't think about it like I have a target on my back. I, I have a lot of motivation to stay on top because because of that fear of losing. I'm not getting any younger, and to get this opportunity in the first place is massive. I'm going to grab it with both hands, and um, I'm going to do everything I can to you know, try and get that championship. Inside our garage is a, you know, another championship winning bike in the making. We just got to make it work. Since 2013, KRT have owned the spectacular motorcycle racing contest five times in the last six years. There isn't a more dominant and effective racing package in any international motorcycling series. It's so hard to put my finger on um, you know, what, what makes me successful. I, I think the biggest credit has to go to the team and the, you know, the machine you're on. That makes up a huge percentage of the actual race victory. Racing's 100% about confidence, and you know, these guys go to town for me every single weekend, and it's, uh, it's an infectious atmosphere, and one you can't manufacture, so very lucky to have that. My personality away from the track, especially since having kids, I'm much more relaxed in myself, and I feel like I'm able to detach the emotional side of trying to win and actually winning. Having the boys around has just literally helped him relax. And even if he's having a, a troubled session, you know, the boys just distract him and um, he's able to switch off. And not many of those races, I see them all the time running around the paddock and they just look so intense. Whereas I just see Jonathan, he just doesn't have like those frown marks because he's just, he's just happy. Especially in the off season when it's, um, you have a lot of time at home and that's the time where I go to work. And, um, you know, it's, it's always a great time because I feel uh, a lot of motivation. And, of course, I've learned to detach my emotions from the pressure side, thinking about you know, another championship. Of course, you know, I'm the guy everyone wants, wants to beat, but I just try and do my thing. Well, I've been working with Johnny since the first week of December. One of the goals was to, to drop body fat percentage. You know, I'm sub 70 right now, I'm feeling really much stronger than I ever have, so starting the season, good. When I look back, when he turned 30, I remember him saying, I said to him in his card, you know, 30 years of age, you know, two children, two world championships, you know, ultimately he's just purchased his dream home, you know, he has, he has pretty much everything lined up and, and ticked more boxes than he ever thought that he would dream of. But saying that, I've never seen him more focused, more, more committed to his sport. Um, I think every year, you know, he actually gets more determined. Not to, to win, to, to actually keep the crown because it's like his place now to sustain that. The 13 round 2019 series is almost here. For the first time since 2015, and when Ray made his immediate splash with the first of four consecutive titles, the crew have changed their rider roster. British Superbike champion Leon Haslam steps away from UK shores to again attempt the FIM World Championship. You know, 2019 is a big, big year for me. 
this opportunity I've got with uh, the Full Factory Kawasaki team is, is my best in my whole career. You know, Jonathan's proven that for the last four years, the bike, the team's all there, it's all capable. So uh, the materials are there, so you know, it's just time, uh, time on the bike and let's see what we can do. Yeah, I mean, having Leon on the other side of the garage is, is a breath of fresh air. You know, I get on with him. Uh, we've been teammates in the past and it's worked, and he's a genuinely cool guy, you know, a guy that you want to go hang out with after racing. But I think myself and he, him have this um, ability to completely switch off. You know, when you, you exit the box and you go back to your motorhome, you can be a human again. You know, there's no reason why we can't work together really successfully inside KRT. Of course, we both have our own um, ambitions and sometimes they have conflicts, but as long as we can be professional, then it should be all good. He's obviously the first person I want to beat, but at the same time, I feel that we both can leave that on the track. You know, we've both got the same passions, you know, the motocross, uh, the competitive side of things. You're never going to take that away from it, but uh, at the same time, it is really nice that you can, you know, respect each other enough to, you know, separate the racing and, and, the, and the personal. Ray and Haslam are good friends, but experienced and tough competitors. It means KRT have another envious lineup, a duo that know the razor sharp Ninja ZX-10RR down to the last titanium bolt. Leon has a lot of experience. He's been in a lot of different championships, riding different bikes on different tires. So um, uh, to have a, an experienced rider like him, giving us as much and correct feedback as possible, makes of course our life uh, easy. 26 races, five continents, and hundreds of miles of tight racing spread across 13 weekends with inverted grids and tight technical rules mean preparation begins at home. In Northern Ireland and England's Midlands, both Ray and Haslam can call on their close and supportive families to help rally around the program that ensures the riders are as fit, focused, and confident as they can be. Yeah, racing uh, for me is, um, is my life. It's kind of what I've done from day one, and uh, you know, a lot of races, it's a, it's a very selfish life. But um, you know, from my point of view, it's just what I've always wanted to do. Yeah, being back home is always nice. You know, uh, we do a lot of travelling, so uh, when we are home, it uh, feels like a holiday. You know, it's time that you can have a bit of downtime. Obviously, you've got two young kids uh, living on a farm with my dad. You know, which is obviously one of my best mates. Both Ray and Haslam hail from racing backgrounds. In Leon's case, his father Ron was a Grand Prix star with a career and name that stretches back decades into the very ether of motorcycling. Leon, 36 years old this year, has carried on the tradition of recognition and achievement. So yeah, this is where it's all started for me. We're here at my farm from six weeks old. It's kind of been a bit of a racing sort of uh, environment from my dad running race teams, me starting motocross, uh, riding my first ever bike on the fields, uh, along with a bit of the uh, different annuals that we've had and the fun in the foam pits and whatever else. It's, uh, this is where it's all begin. You know, it's important to relax, it's important to, you know, have that downtime so then when you are on, on point with your racing, you can be fully there. This is uh, the run up to where the gym and museum is and yeah, as you can see, my mum likes the photos from when I was born and before, so uh, yeah, racing, racing, racing. I actually got a few pictures of me and Johnny from uh, when we first started out uh, racing together. Yeah, a lot of good pictures. I tried to keep a set of leathers and a helmet from all the years that both me and my dad's raced. So from like the mid 70s, uh, from when my dad first started riding, all the way through to him doing the Isle of Man, all the way to when he went to Grand Prix racing. And obviously then I started in 97, and then kind of all the way through from European MotoGP, 500s, World Superbike, British Superbike. So uh, yeah, a lot of good memories. One of the things that um, I'm quite proud of is 
Me and my dad are the only father and son to get Man of the Year for the MCN Award. Got my first ever bike up on the wall from uh, when I first started road racing. That was back in 97. Seems a long time ago now. <laughs> my dad's two brothers, uh, Terry and Phil, they kind of like started the, the Haslam's in general in racing. Um, both of them actually was tragically killed, um, one in Scarborough and one at Aston in the sidecar. You know, a lot of people know my dad, but you know, it was Phil and Terry that got the, the family into, into bike racing itself. KRT can hear the daily drone of track days at the Circuit de Catalunya in Barcelona. The team in their workshop headquarters is walking distance from one of Spain's best loved racing facilities. It's a helpful and constant reminder of why the team work and push so hard to excel. The first feedback is, is nice, is good, but we still have, I think, a good room to improve. We are now in an important period of the year because this is when we need to prepare everything uh, to start the season uh, as strong as possible. When the new bikes and parts have arrived from Japan and assessments have been made, then KRT leave their Catalan base and head off around the Iberian Peninsula. Testing at places like Jerez, Aragon, and Portimao means the right amount of laps and track time to make crucial decisions on setup in order to tackle all 13 events in World SBK. These two tests will be more or less to fix everything goes well. The rider just starts to warm up his body on the bike and then make the rolling about a team and staff to, to arrive as stronger possible in, in Australia. The stopwatch is already ticking. 